Let's get right. Greetings all 909 members of the Get Right Gang and the 40% who haven't hit the subscribe button yet. My name is Jamal and uh, it is day 8 and I am now up to 25.6 pounds down in 8 days. If this is your first time seeing me, just to get you up to speed, on the first 7 days I did a dry fast. You can watch the video yesterday, I did a 20 minute comprehensive review of my dry fast experience and explained how I lost 33 pounds in those 7 days. It is now day 8 which means I've refed and rehydrated so I've gained some weight which is a total of about 8 pounds gained in those 2 days since that dry fast ended which is surprisingly much less than I expected. So what did I get up to on day 8? Well I started off with my usual by doing a home exercise which included just walking back and forth in my apartment just to get the heart rate up, get some calorie burning and then I did some chair exercises using some very very light dumbbells, just doing some bicep curls and some presses and other things like that and I've now started to incorporate some floor exercises too. I started doing some press ups on my knees, managed to get up to 10 press ups on my first day which is not too bad to be honest. Then I flipped over and did some leg raises and I just held on to the bottom of my sofa to get some grip. Managed to squeeze up 10 sets of leg raises and boy this hurt. Abs are never an easy workout. Most of you might agree with that, but I tell you, when you're 500 pounds, ab workouts, painful. So I'm not too excited about these, but I'm going to be doing ab workouts every day going forward. And on top of that, I ate my one meal today, which I spoke about yesterday in detail as to why I'm eating this. It consisted of two cans of sardines, 250 grams of beef liver and 300 grams of spinach. I used an air fryer to cook the meats and a steamer to cook the vegetables and just added some salt and some steak seasoning to the liver. Some of you will say this is gross but actually surprisingly some of you in the comments agree this is actually pretty tasty if you cook it right so don't knock it till you try it folks. So as you can see it really isn't rocket science but I always want to try and give you guys back some value in these videos. It's not just about me but it's about you. So what I want to talk about today is water weight and weight fluctuation on the scales. As I said earlier I have gained back 7 to 8 pounds in weight since my dry fast ended. Now the only thing I've actually eaten since that time has been two meals which were both 1000 calories. So in total since my dry fast has ended I've ate 2000 calories in two days. Every single day I've worked out and, and did exercise and every single day I, have, I of course drunk a bunch of water. So really and truly I have definitely 150,000% not gained any fat. That 7 to 8 pound is absolutely water. And this is what I want to talk about because I know a lot of people who go on weight loss journeys really do struggle with weight fluctuations. It can be really really demotivating especially when you're on a calorie deficit and you're hungry and then you get on the scales the next day after feeling like you've been suffering for so long and you see that the scales as it have either not gone down or they've gone up and you're like surprise Pikachu face what is going on? So what I really want to bring attention to which I believe is quite important is actually tracking your calories. I know a lot of people don't care for tracking their calories but I think it is really really helpful for many many reasons and one is to keep you from being discouraged if your weight goes up when you know you haven't when you know you haven't binged eaten. The fact that I know that I ate 2000 calories in two days and gained eight pounds makes me certain to know that it is water weight. If I hadn't tracked my calories the last few days and I just eaten whatever I wouldn't have that certainty and me sitting here hungry right now and looking at that weight gain I might be like you know what this is long let me get some fried chicken I can't be bothered so this is the sort of things that can go through your mind I have experienced this many many times in the past and that's why I'm really a big advocate of tracking my food nowadays I know exactly how many calories are going in and if you want to take it one step further get a fitness watch I personally use a Fitbit Versa 3 
I absolutely love this device because this allows me to track the amount of calories I burn every day. On average, I'm burning about 6,000 to 7,000 calories a day right now. And since I know I'm only eating 1,000 calories, this means I'm losing 6,000 calories a day. So no matter what the scale says, the scale could go up 20 pounds tomorrow. It doesn't matter because I know that it is just gonna be the water weight. As long as you're accurately tracking your calories, you can pretty much just do some mathematics and figure out exactly what is going on with your body. And then the scales are just extra confirmation, really. But if you have any thoughts or comments or would like to share your experience, please do comment below. And of course, of course, thank you so much to all the support and all the love and all the subscribers. We are so close to 1,000 subs already. It's unbelievable, but please do keep supporting and sharing and i'll keep doing my part without further ado folks that's all for today love you all and i'll be back tomorrow with more updates see you later yeah